I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Kotobukiya Art FX 1 6 scale Iron Man from the Avengers. It's Avengers Madness this summer. We've all seen the amazing movie. We've got to have the awesome merchandise to go with it. So why not the Kotobukiya Art FX 1 6 scale Iron Man? This is a great piece from an awesome movie. Now if you guys have ever picked up any of the Kotobukiya Art FX products before, then you already know that you're getting a pre-painted model kit. So it's very easy to assemble and you get a really wicked looking piece to add to your collection shelves. So let's take a look at this bad boy, shall we? So Iron Man comes in an amazingly cool box with some Beautiful artwork on the front with the Marvel Avengers movie logo across the bottom. Some great artwork of the actual piece that's inside the box. And of course you get some better shots of it all the way around the sides there. And then the back of it even has a Avengers movie poster along with some information about the Kotobukiya statue. Now there is some assembly required with this. It is a model kit of sorts. That's how all of the artifact statues work from Kotobukiya. There is a sheet of instructions that are included. So if you need a little bit of help putting it together, you do have a bit of a guide. However, it is very simple to put together. You shouldn't have any problems with it whatsoever. The best thing about these pre-painted model kits is that if you're not a model maker, you don't need any kind of experience. You don't need paint, you don't need glue, you don't need anything like that. It all snaps together very tight and snug and gives you a beautiful display piece at the end. So Iron Man comes in four pieces including a base. So he is very simple to put together. There's not a lot of extra pieces or parts or anything like that with this guy. He just assembles very simply. Now the leg piece you can see there is this white box sticking up off the top of the waist there and there is a little battery cap. There are light features with Iron Man and the good news is that batteries are included with this set. So it does include three button cell batteries that are not already in there. They're separate so you do have to put them in yourself. Uh, that is good though for anybody who plans to keep these in the box. You don't have to worry that the batteries are not already inside. It's something that you have to put in yourself. So there's a small battery cover there. You can just pop those button cells in and then you're ready to assemble your figure. The torso piece will just fit right over that white block and it just snugly fits down over that. It's real tight and it holds very well once you get it assembled so it's not loose at all. And then the arms are all fitted with these nice square pegs and those will then just plug right into the sides of the torso and you can see that they're very tight. They do take a little bit of pressure to pop in. You can kind of hear them snapping in but then they pop into place and again they are very solid. They hold nice and firm so you don't have to worry about it falling apart. And now you've got yourself a completed Iron Man. Now of course he does come equipped with a display base to help him stand up. The base is very nice looking. It's got great painted detail on there. It looks like a city street that's got some serious damage going on with some great uh, footprints broken in the concrete from Iron Man's feet there. And you can see that there are two peg holes on either footprint that are ready to fit the pegs that are coming off the bottom of Tony Stark's feet. So it's very easy to apply him there. And just like with the rest of the body, it does fit nice and snug in the base. And you got a good firm hold on there so he, he stands up well. You don't have to worry about him toppling over or anything like that. And the paint job on that base is beautiful. You've got some great dry brushing going on there to really bring out the realism of the sculpted concrete blocks of the street. And then on top of that, we have this beautiful 1-6 scale pre-painted model. So this is, of course is modeled after the design of the Iron Man costume that we've seen in the films, most specifically the Avengers film. And the details on this are absolutely amazing. Every little detail is there. All of the cool little crevices and the circuitry pieces and everything on Iron Man's costume is in glorious detail all the way around. And the thing I really like about this the most is the paint job that was done. It's got this really nice glossy almost enamel looking paint job to it uh, but it's very slick it's got a beautiful finish on it but it's got this really reflective red and gold paint job so it's got a little bit of a sparkle to it it's very shiny it's got this real nice gloss coat over it so it looks like it's very metallic without actually being metallic it's not vac metalized or anything like that 
but it's a nice subtle shine. So it really stands out. It looks like it actually is a, an iron costume or a metal costume that Iron Man is wearing there. It's very, very beautiful. I love the shades of reds. You got some great shading going on there. So it's not just a solid red. There's some definite blacks and some shadings that kind of change the mood of the costume all the way down it and just really light, makes it stand out as something really spectacular. Now one of the other great features about this is it does have a light up feature as we mentioned before so that helps it to stand out even better. There is this small piece right here on the shoulder that actually is removable. It just pops right off and you can see that it's just form fitted to fit right over that so when you want to replace it it just snaps back on and it holds nice and tight. But when you pop that off, that's what reveals the little switch that activates the lights. Now there are two different settings with the lights. Setting number one is actually a sensor mode. And you can see that there is this small little black box on Iron Man's back. That's actually a light sensor. So when you turn it on the first mode, what happens is that he actually senses light and that's what's gonna activate the lights on the front is chest lights up and his eyes light up. So you've got all of that cool LED lights light up there. It looks great when you're kind of in like a nice mood lit room. You got some dim lights. It does need a little bit of light on this particular setting for it to activate. If you block the sensor, you will notice that the lights just kind of fade out on the front. Let's see if we can get it to do it there. It is awfully bright in here with my uh, lighting equipment and everything. There you go. It's fading out because it's lost the light and then it's off. So as soon as I remove my thumb from the back, it picks up light. You can see the eyes and the chest light back up again. So that's a really cool setting to have it on for displaying it on your shelf. That way, if you leave the room, you turn the lights off, it doesn't waste the batteries, the lights will turn off. But then when you come in, flip your light switch, all of a sudden your statue is lit up and glowing on your shelf. Looks beautiful. Now, of course, the second setting is just a permanent light. So if you turn it on, the last setting, the lights just stay on as a steady glow, so that way he's just always glowing for you. So it's a very, very nice look. Like I said, the lights are a very bright white LED inside there, so if you put it on this setting and you put him in the dark, he's got a really bright glow. It looks fantastic with his chest and his eyes being the only thing lit up that you can see. Has a really cool glow on his face and helmet there. It's just a fantastic looking piece. So there you go, guys. There is a look at the Kotobukiya 1-6 scale Avengers Iron Man pre-painted model kit. For more information on this and some of other Kotobukiya's products, check out www.kotous.com and follow them on Facebook at facebook.com slash Until next time.